Zucker, and I know I miss Vlogmas 24, but honestly, it was raining, there was nothing going on, and this is a different type of video for me. I'm going to try it, and I'm going to say right now that I hope you all like it. I am about to make seafood dressing um, today. Because it is one one something a.m. Um, here, so technically it's December the twenty fifth. Today will be Vlogmas twenty five, and before I begin cooking, I just want to tell everyone who has watched my videos, thank you. You are awesome encouragement. You have shown me that I could do this because I doubted myself. And I think that's why I stopped so many times because I had doubted myself so many times. But Vlogmas taught me to step out of my boundaries. Um, don't worry so much about um, what's being said, what's being done, the noise that's being made, even what the background is. Because y'all, I had a lot of hang ups, and so that's why I stopped making videos as well as self-esteem issues but anyway i want to thank you all so much this has been fun i know i didn't make every day but i did more videos in during vlogmas 25 i mean vlogmas 25 than i did um what in a year so even if y'all don't pat me on the bed i'm gonna pat myself but um, I have everything set up, so we're going to get into this video. It's real quick, y'all. I'm sorry, but I don't have a recipe because this is just something that I've made a few times from, and I've combined things from various recipes. Um, but I will show you all what I'm using and show you what I'm doing and just tell you that it's very easy to find seafood dressing. And I'm saying dressing and not stuffing not because I'm northern but because I don't recommend putting this in your turkey because it has shrimp and crab meat in it which is going to give your turkey a seafood taste unless that's something that you like I don't know if you like it then stuff it inside of your turkey chicken duck whatever um, you're having for your meal um, but it's so simple and so quick that you can make it any day. It doesn't necessarily just have to be for a holiday. I just chose to make it now. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway right now. For the person who can tell me what video I said I wanted seafood dressing in. Because this is a few videos back. A few videos back. Then I will... The first person to tell me, I will send you three pieces of paparazzi jewelry. Now, what I need you to do is to put your comment below, tell me what video it was, and again, like I said, the first person, and I'll be monitoring, you know, of course, the first person that comments is going to be the first comment to show up their timestamp so um that'll be my little giveaway i said i was gonna wait until 500 subscribers but the past week you know with my pastor passing and every time the everything showed me that sometimes it's not good to put off things for a special occasion which anyway we all are a special occasion but um, just hang with me. We're going to make this dressing real quick, real simple, real easy. And, um, yeah, if y'all don't make it for New Year's, because it's probably too late to make it for Christmas. But if y'all don't make it for New Year's, then just know that you can make it anytime. Anytime you want dressing and you want some seafood, just you can put the two together. So bear with me. We're going to get this done again. This is my first time. You may hear me get quiet, but it's because my parents are in the bed, and the kitchen is right by their room, and I waited so late because my dad was watching TV, 
And y'all, I don't want to copyright strike. <laughs> Not yet. I'm too too fresh in the game. Um, but so let's get started. Hey sugars, I know that you all probably can't see me, but I just wanted to show you my ingredients. I have six um six ounce cans of crab meat. I have one ten and a half ounce can of cream of mushroom. I have one 14.5 ounce can of chicken broth. I have bread crumbs and mine are um unseasoned but you can get you know the Italian seasoned one if you want to. I have one um bag of shrimp. What size is this? It's 16 ounces, so one pound of shrimp. I have two sticks of margarine. I also have let me show you this because it's not on the counter. It may look like it. I also have it's, I, it's one small onion and one small bell pepper. You can use more or less to your taste. Um, and also, you're supposed to have celery, but I don't have any. So this is my first time making it without celery, but we're going to see what it do. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So, um, oh. Uh, an important ingredient. I also have one 12 ounce bag of um, potato bread soft cube stuffing because I couldn't find the cornbread so I just got potato bread so yeah so okay that's my ingredients this is my pan to bake it in funny story about this I didn't have a pan because I want to just put it in a pan so Let's clean up when I finish, when it's baked, when everybody through eating it, just throw the pan away. My sister actually came over and brought my parents some crabs tonight. So, um, or my dad went at them. I don't know, but they got them from my sister. But so I ended up with a pan instead of using a glass baking dish. Here's a little tip. Anytime you're cutting and chopping or have a recipe, let me just drop this stuff. I'll have a recipe where you have to throw things away. Take a bowl and just sit it on your counter. And as you're using things and you finish, just throw your trash in the bowl. And then you can just empty the bowl all at one time. So now I'm finna get all my ingredients in a pot. And get them fried up. And we'll get ready to put it in a pan. Tip. I, um, I'm not gonna say it's a phobia, but I don't like, um, cutting boards that meat have been cut on and um my parents do have a glass one but it makes so much noise when you're cutting you know the knife hitting the glass i don't like it so i took laminate sheets two of them and laminated them and this is what i use as my cutting board and when i'm finished you can wash it or you can put it in the trash so that's just a little quick tip also you know to make clean up easier and to explain to you why I didn't have a cutting board. I know you can't see my face. I'm sorry. I don't know how to work it out. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing with the pot. That's the important part anyway. But um, so what you want to do is you want to take both your sticks of butter and you want to put them in a pan. I chose this pan um, but you can use any pan. You can use a smaller pan if you want to. I just like for my stuff to be so I can really spread it out. You know, so the flavor will get into everything. So, you put it on and you melt the butter. And then you put the green peppers and the onions and the celery in. Which, again, I don't have celery, but you would put it in at this time. And you would cook that down some. And I've already put my butter, or margarine I should say, and the green peppers and the onions in here. And I'm just going to let the butter melt and let that saute a little bit. And then I'll add my shrimp and my crab meat. Y'all know thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. But okay, so let me tell you this again. <laughs> well, the first time she didn't hear me. Okay, so after you do your, um, saute your 
bell peppers, your onions, and your celery, which I didn't have, so I decided to put some cilantro leaves in. I'm just ad living, which I always do with this recipe. Um, I don't put salt because pretty much everything in this recipe is salty. So um, I just put some black pepper, but you let this, after you saute your green peppers and your, I mean your bell peppers and your onions, then you put your meats in and you just um, let it marinate together for about five minutes just to get, you know, the flavor through everything. And the way you'll know it's done is because your shrimp, and I forgot to mention this to you all, you need to use raw shrimp. Them pre-cooked shrimp, it just don't taste the same. It's not going to taste right. The shrimp going to be rubbery. So, but once your shrimp turn pink, you know that they're done. So, and because they have to go through a second cooking process, I let mine get light pink. I don't let them get dark pink. And I just keep everything stirred. Also, you all might want to use, because I showed you medium shrimp. You all might want to use small shrimp, but I like the medium shrimp. I be wanting to bite in the shrimp, and I figure, you know, everybody else even wants to bite into some, too. But, so, and after this, you know, gets right, then we're going to mix up our bread crumbs and our broth and stuff. So, just keep stirring it. You know, let it work its magic. So, yeah. And I know it don't look like much now with just this in the pot, but I promise you, even this smells so good. But I just like the way seafood smells when it's cooking. So, and I love crab meat. Okay, sugar, so after you get that mixed together in your shrimp or light pink, then you go ahead and just push it to the back, let it sit, let those flavors marinate together. I'm guessing that it's going to be about a cup of breadcrumbs. I am going to use this whole bag of stuffing. And I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I normally just mix this up in the pan. <laughs> so, I didn't realize this bowl was this small. Right, I want to give a shout out to my daddy because my daddy opened all these cans for us, y'all. Because my hands would not allow me to. So, let's say yay. I'm going to just pour in my whole can of cream of mushroom. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I don't love it. I'm greedy, y'all. I don't love it. So. And now with my broth, I kind of like just, you know, pour a little, get it wet. It probably will take the whole can, but I'm not going to pour the whole can at one time. I kind of just like, you know, play with it. And then I'm just stirring it around, and I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Hold on, let me get a, a bigger bowl, cause this this ain't gonna do. Okay, I don't see a bigger bowl, so I'm gonna just have to do this easy. But you just keep mixing these up until they get well mixed. And once it gets well mixed, you'll know. You'll just know the consistency. Um, when I get it to that point, then I will show it to you all. Um, okay, guys, I found the bigger bowl. And I almost forgot to tell you all one very important ingredient. And again, this kind of to your own taste, but sugar goes in this. And I'm just going to use... I'm, I'm going to use two tablespoons. But you know, you just you adjust it according to your diet because I know everybody don't like a lot of sugar. Just like I don't like a lot of salt. So, and you just keep stirring until you get everything well mixed. You want to get all your ingredients. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but when I put the sugar in, I, I shook it all around because you don't want one sweet spot. 
and you just keep adding broth as you need it. And I told y'all I was gonna use the whole can. So that is that. Y'all, here's a fun fact. I love starches. I eat cornstarch. So this right here, this the stuffing in the bread crumbs <laughs> with the um, cream of mushroom in the broth. I would eat this. <laughs> but yeah. But it does taste better with the seafood. And it just keep stirring until you get it all nice and um mixed up, as you can see. Um, and you just know, y'all, I don't know how to tell you, I just, I just keep stirring until it looks, you know, like it's mixed up enough, so, but just make sure everything is mixed up together real well. You might want to get a bigger spoon. To me, I use this little fork, and it helps me to not miss spots. I feel like when I have a big spoon, I'm missing spots, so yeah, so just, you know, stir it till you um feel like it's mixed up and then um we'll combine our other ingredients when this is stirred well and so guys once you get it stirred well to your liking and i pretty much just make sure all my bread um the stuffing is you know mashed up good so and then you just put your meat and your vegetables in and then you stir that up good and stir it real good y'all make sure everything make sure every bite of this is going to have shrimp crab meat and everything all mixed in together good and you just mix that and y'all i promise it's taking me longer because i'm recording because normally i would be done with this um and you just keep on mixing it until you get it stirred up good. Just start getting it ready for your pan. And as you can see, I'm almost there. I hope y'all can see that. Okay. So, I'm just keep stirring. And I'll be back when I finish stirring. Okay, guys. I'm about done stirring. And this is my consistency. So, you see everything is well mixed. And I'm looking... And my pan might not be big enough. This happens to me every year. And if I had a bigger pan, I'd probably have even more dressing. Because I'm used to cooking for big families. We had a big family. But then you just take it and spoon it into your pan. You know. And while you're spooning it, then you can see how well your mixture is. Ooh, y'all, it's going to work. It's going to fit. <laughs> it's thin. Oh, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. So, and I don't know what size pan this is. Like I said, my sister um, sent something over in it. And I am reusing it. So, and then, you know, I just give it a little mash to the top, you know. Make the top even. There you have it. Seafood dressing. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what, guys? Um, really, the only thing different about this dressing than your turkey dressing or your chicken dressing or stuffing, whatever you want to call it, if you're from the north or the south, the only thing, the only thing that's different is the seafood. Because I pretty much do the same thing for um if I was making a regular dressing, except I would use, um, you know, chicken or turkey. So, but then, yeah, you get it all mashed down like that. And I just turn my oven on. Um, you're supposed to preheat your oven. It's almost preheated. I really have forgotten about turning it on. But, um, and you only cook this for about 30 minutes you don't want to dry it out you want to dry it so that it's firm but you don't want to make it too dry and I don't know how to 
tell y'all how to, other than to just keep checking it. So, and I don't put foil on mine. I just let it cook so the top is crispier than, you know, the insides. But if you all want to put foil on it, I guess you could try that. It's just that the foil is going to keep moisture in. So, just remember that you're, you're making steam when you put foil over it. So, I'm about to slide this in the oven. And as soon as it comes out. I will come back and show you all my finished results and let me clean up my little mess. I am finally finished. Um, like I told you, it didn't take long. It took me longer because I was recording. Um, guys, if you all stuck it out and watched the end to the end of this, I want to thank you. Um, this was a hard video, trying to get the camera angles right um, on the tripod and trying to remember to show you all each step but I got it done so I am so proud of myself now it is about 3 30 in the morning so um I'm probably gonna go and read a little bit hopefully I can go to sleep y'all I want to tell y'all something too like it's so hard for me to make videos in the daytime because I'm a nighttime person like this was hard as far as getting the camera set up right but as far as doing it, it it wasn't hard. Like, I mean, me being up, this is the time that I like to be up. The only thing is, I know that I have to talk, you know, speak up. I got to speak up over the heater because we have a window unit that's heating. And my parents have um, their room door open and I hate to wake them up. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it for you. And remember, follow me on social media if you want to see me cut it and plate it. And, um, yeah, I hope everyone has a happy holiday. And remember, be a blessing and stay blessed.